maybe the security is a complete solution for um, security inside NAV. It both works in Rotor or in classic client, all the way back to 2.6. It contains two pieces, uh, a field level action and data security that is beyond the standard NAV security. And it also has tools for roles and logins where you can record permission and things like that. But uh, let's take a look at the field level and data security. And this one is uh, NAV 2013 or 2, the latest version. Um, one of the things about field level security is a lot of times um, when you get into master data and other places in the system, you really want to have different permissions. So right now I'm on a sales order and I can actually edit every field I can create a sales order and change everything in here on shipping and so on. A lot of times you really only want people to maybe change a few fields or maybe only have few access to it. And that's what we can actually do with easy security. So let's go take a look at uh, setting up some additional security in here. And I'll create a new uh, user security setup in here. I'm going to leave my use ID blank for now because that basically means it applies to everybody in here. So I'll go in and say for the sales setup, everybody now has read-only access in here. This one can also be done for super users since it's not connected to the standard NAV security at all in here. So let's go back and take a look at my sales order now. As I look at it now, my menu item sprays out. I can't really do anything. As I get into a single sales order, every field is sprayed out, every action is sprayed out. So I can see it in here, but I can't really change it in here. So let's take a look at say if like I'm actually logged in, logged in with a database user uh, down here called user. So I'm going to go in and give myself some different permissions in here. And I'll just give me the basic access in here. So if we now go back, uh, look at the list of uh, sales orders, it didn't really change anything in here. I still have all the things grayed out. When I get into the order itself, I can see in here my statistics is uh, now available. Uh, I can click on that one and it shows my statistics in here. My sell to, company, sell to customer number is eligible. And down here I have some fields I can edit in shipping and so on. But most of the other fields in here are non-eligible in all the functions. If I went to credit memos, for example, I would see that still everything is not eligible inside a credit memo. So I can only do something in sales order. So let's go take a look at that basic setup, what it actually means in here. For each object in the system, we can have a different setup in here. And zero is a default, so by default, everything shows up view or read only in here. I can also hide things. So if I go down here and say my sales order statistics, I don't really want um, people with basic to actually be able to see that one. So I go into hide that uh, page in here. I can see for my sales order, I have specified fields in here. So uh, let's go take a look at uh, that one. Again, by selecting the right default, I can minimize my setup. So I have selected view, but let's go hide everything in here and then uh, set the sell to customer number to view in here. Then there's a list of fields that the user can edit in here. I get down to the controls again by selecting the right default. I can minimize my setup and let's hide everything in here and then go and look at adding another control in here. I have my post and print button and I actually going to put that on the screen so people can see it exist, but I would just make a view in here. So I made a few changes to the data, but it's actually going to be uh, very different when I get back into the arena. So uh, if I go back at my list of sales orders, it didn't change, but my sales order in here, I now only have a few fields left in here. My sell to customer number is there, my ship to code, my prepayment foreign trade, it's all empty down here. I have to only have two actions up here and I can click on statistics, but it actually just tells me I'm not allowed to see that page in here. And I'm still super user in the database. 
So this one is beyond what you can do with standard energy security uh, in any way. The other part of this application is actually data security. And data security can be very important if you only want salespeople to see their own orders, for example, um, only certain um, deal accounts and things like that one in there. You can actually accomplish all that one with the data security in here. And I have an example in here where based on the posting group, I only going to see certain customers. And I have foreign, domestic, um, and EU down here. So let's go ahead and apply a filter for the customer in here. So I'm going to select my customer table and I'm going to use this domestic code in here. As a look at that one, it's a very similar setup to what I looked at before. I can basically go in and for each object, set up different filters in here. And zero is a default, so if I don't have it in a list later on, that's the one it applies in here. And I can take a look at that one, and I'll have a hidden filter for my customer posting group for blank or domestic out here. But I have an editable filter, something the user can actually remove if they need to for blank or blue in here. So it's more kind of a helpful filter. For my list that I use for lookups and things like that one, I don't have a filter on the location table. I only filter on my value out there. We can also have um, values based on calculations. So if I actually want to filter on the current work year, it's kind of complex because um, at that point, I would need to um, be a, doing a filter that changes all the time. We can have uh, a calculation based on code in here, and we can have more code added if you have other dimensions you want to add. We have just what's inside standard energy. So I can select my work here, and it kind of puts it in as a variable in here. So uh, you can use these calculations to actually make filters that are depending on either the user, or it can be, uh, in this case, just like a date range, for example. So let's go ahead and apply this to my user in here, or to everybody. And as I now get back and open up my list of customers, I'll see it got a lot shorter in here. If I look at it, I can see my date filter up here got applied, and it's editable, so I can get rid of it. But I can't get rid of my other filter for domestic because it's basically a hidden filter and the user can't see it. One last feature of this one is I have a wrong location up here compared to what the user is default allowed to see. So if I try to open up this card, I'll just get a message saying it couldn't find that record and it will show me the first one that is domestic and blue one. Here. So you can have different records being shown on the card compared to what you can see on the list, and in that way control what users can edit also in the list. So that's basically um, the features of uh, field level action and data security in here. So on pages and forms in a classic environment, we can control them down to edit uh, read only or completely hiding them. We can do the same for fields. For actions, we allow you to, again, gray them out or completely hide them. Buttons are the classic kind, and we can only control the complete button, but again, the same option. As we filter data, we can um, allow you only to see certain records. Can be very useful to limit data in places where people need to go but they don't really have to see all records.